friends, welcome to GCM at Home. My name is Ashley and today we're going to be looking outside our windows to make some observations and create some art. So let's get started. Did you know that there's a special word for painting outside? It's called in plain air. Can you say that? Plain air? Awesome. In plain air is the act of painting outdoors. It became popular in 1830 when a group of artists wanted to realistically show how light looks on a tree or a lake at a certain time of day, like 2 p.m. on a Friday. A group of artists called the Impressionists helped make this practice famous and well-known today. Have you heard of the Impressionists before? They were a group of artists whose paintings can be identified by small but visible brushstrokes. They were really interested in how light can change how an object looks, and they tended to paint outside or in plain air. Perhaps you've heard or seen the works of art by Claude Monet, Bert Morissette, or Mary Cassatt. Let's look closer at this painting by Mary Cassatt and make some observations. It's titled, Lydia Seated in the Garden with a Dog in Her Lap. Now, what's going on in this painting? What do you see that makes you say that? All right, one more question. Can you put your observation skills to the test and see the puppy in the painting? Nice job with those observations. Now let's make more observations on what is around us so that we can get ready to create our work of art. I'm going to create my work of art here at my desk looking out the window. What's important for in plein air artworks is that we are creating a work of art observing what we see outside. So if we're inside looking out a window or outside a door, that's totally okay. One thing we need to remember when we are making our observations is that the light is going to change outside. Does it always look the same outside? No, of course not. In the mornings, it might be sunny and bright because the sun is out, but what happens at night? It gets dark, right? When the moon and the stars are outside. Now, what happens when it's cloudy? It might be bright when the clouds are not in front of the sun, but when the clouds are blocking the sun, it might be a little bit darker and shady outside. Now, what happens when an object like a tree blocks the sun? You get a shadow! Have you ever been outside and seen your shadow on the ground? That's because your body is blocking the rays of light from the sun and we get a shadow. Let's see how lights and shadows change over the course of an afternoon by watching a time lapse I took from my window. As the sun moves from east to west and as clouds roll past the sun, the light on the tree will change. You can see how the shadows on the ground move throughout the day and ultimately disappear as the sun sets. Pay close attention to the leaves on the tree as well. See how they shake in the wind throughout the day? Now that you've learned a little bit about in plain air art and you've seen how in nature light can change what we see, it's time for you to put your observation skills to the test and create your own in plain air art creation. You can draw or paint whatever you see outside your window, outside your door, or outside in your backyard. Make sure to fold your paper in half or download GCM at Home's activity sheet so you can draw what you see in the morning and then come back later and draw what you see in the evening and then you can compare and see how the light has changed in your works of art. Make sure you observe carefully where the shadows are when you're looking outside to create these works of art. I can't wait to see what you create. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, bye-bye.